What's it like to be on the receiving end of the controversial police tactic, the pit maneuver? I'm about to find out. The pit maneuver is under scrutiny across America after an Arkansas state trooper used it to pull over a pregnant mom. Nicole Harper's SUV flipped over and crashed, trapping her inside. Pregnant! Well, ma'am, you've got to pull over when we stop. The maneuver was first developed by the FBI to be used against terrorists. It's oh, become wow. a widely used police tactic. Yes, would you? Here we go. Almost. Yep. Okay. Nice. nice pit maneuver. Pit Look maneuver. at that. But at least 30 people have been killed in pit maneuvers since 2016. 18 deaths stemmed from minor traffic offenses. Some police departments already prohibit the tactic, and there are calls for it to be banned nationwide. A pit maneuver should only be employed when there's a situation where the individual in particular presents a significant danger to the public if they're not taken into custody. Get up there and get this 100 mile an hour police chase in 2020 began after the driver of the pickup ran a red light. The 34 year old driver was killed. Experienced instructors in Las Vegas showed me what it's like to be in a heart stopping police chase. Off the brakes. Turn. The technique for a pit maneuver is subtle. A little nudge is all it takes. And unless you have a complete tire failure where the car digs into the asphalt, it could flip, but generally they don't. Even in a controlled setting, I wasn't prepared for what was about to happen. Whoa. In an instant, I lost control of the car and went into a dizzying, heart stopping spin. And that was just at 30 miles an hour. Little wonder pit maneuvers at higher speeds, like the one executed on the pregnant driver in Arkansas, result in scenes like this. Pregnant. The Arkansas Police Department defended using the pit maneuver, claiming the pregnant woman was speeding and would not pull over. She's suing, saying her and her baby's life were put in danger.